A grand unified theory GUT is a model in particle physics in which, at high energy, the three gauge interactions of the standard model that define the electromagnetic, weak, and strong interactions, or forces, are merged into a single force. Although this unified force has not been directly observed, the many GUT models theorize its existence. If unification of these three interactions is possible, it raises the possibility that there was a grand unification epoch in the very early universe in which these three fundamental interactions were not yet distinct. Experiments have confirmed that at high energy, the electromagnetic interaction and weak interaction unify into a single electroweak interaction. Gut models predict that at even higher energy, the strong interaction and the electroweak interaction will unify into a single electronuclear interaction. This interaction is characterized by one larger gauge symmetry and thus several force carriers, but one unified coupling constant. Unifying gravity with the electronuclear interaction would provide a theory of everything rather than a gut. Guts are often seen as an intermediate step towards a toe. The novel particles predicted by gut models are expected to have extremely low masses around the gut scale. Just a few orders of magnitude below the Planck scale and so are well beyond the reach of any foreseen particle collider experiments. Therefore, the particles predicted by gut models will be unable to be observed directly and instead the effects of grand unification might be detected through indirect observations such as proton decay, electric dipole moments of elementary particles, or the properties of neutrinos. Some guts, such as the patty salam model, predict the existence of magnetic monopoles. Gut models which aim to be completely realistic are quite complicated, even compared to the standard model, because they need to introduce additional fields and interactions, or even additional dimensions of space. The main reason for this complexity lies in the difficulty of reproducing the observed fermion masses and mixing angles which may be related to an existence of some additional family symmetries beyond the conventional gut models. Due to this difficulty, and due to the lack of any observed effect of grand unification so far, there is no generally accepted gut model. Models that do not unify the three interactions using one simple group as the gauge symmetry, but do so using semi-simple groups, can exhibit similar properties and are sometimes referred to as grand unified theories as well. History Historically, the first true gut which was based on the simple Lie group SU-5, was proposed by Howard Georgie and Sheldon Glashow in 1974. The georgie glashow model was preceded by the semi-simple Lie algebra Patti Salam model by Abdus Salam and Jogesh Patti, who pioneered the idea to unify gauge interactions. The acronym GUT was first coined in 1978 by CERN researchers John Ellis, André Bouras, Mary K. Guyard, and Dimitri Nanopoulos, however in the final version of their paper they opted for the less anatomical GUM grand unification mass. Nanopoulos later that year was the first to use the acronym in a paper. <laughs> Motivation The fact that the electric charges of electrons and protons seem to cancel each other exactly to extreme precision is essential for the existence of the macroscopic world as we know it, but this important property of elementary particles is not explained in the standard model of particle physics. While the description of strong and weak interactions within the standard model is based on gauge symmetries governed by the simple symmetry groups SU and SU which allow only discrete charges, the remaining component, the weak hypercharge interaction is described by an abelian symmetry U which in principle allows for arbitrary charge assignments. The observed charge quantization, namely the fact that all known elementary particles carry electric charges which appear to be exact multiples of one-third of the elementary charge, has led to the idea that hypercharge interactions and possibly the strong and weak interactions might be embedded in one grand unified interaction described by a single, larger simple symmetry group containing the standard model. This would automatically predict the quantized nature and values of all elementary particle charges. Since this also results in a prediction for the relative strengths of the fundamental interactions which we observe, in particular the weak mixing angle, grand unification ideally reduces the number of independent input parameters, but is also constrained by observations. 
Grand unification is reminiscent of the unification of electric and magnetic forces by Maxwell's theory of electromagnetism in the 19th century, but its physical implications and mathematical structure are qualitatively different. Topic: <laughs> Unification of matter particles. Topic: SU 5 SU 5 is the simplest gut. The smallest simple Lie group which contains the standard model, and upon which the first grand unified theory was based, is S U 5 S U 3 times S U 2 times u 1 display style su 5 subset su 3 times su 2 times u 1 such group symmetries allow the reinterpretation of several known particles as different states of a single particle field however it is not obvious that the simplest possible choices for the extended grand unified symmetry should yield the correct inventory of elementary particles the fact that all currently known matter particles fit nicely into three copies of the smallest group representations of SU and immediately carry the correct observed charges, is one of the first and most important reasons why people believe that a grand unified theory might actually be realized in nature. The two smallest irreducible representations of SU are 5 and 10. In the standard assignment, the 5 contains the charge conjugates of the right-handed down type quark color triplet and a left-handed lepton isospin doublet, while the 10 contains the 6 up type quark components, the left-handed down type quark color triplet, and the right-handed electron. This scheme has to be replicated for each of the three known generations of matter. It is notable that the theory is anomaly-free with this matter content. The hypothetical right-handed neutrinos are a singlet of SU which means its mass is not forbidden by any symmetry, it doesn't need a spontaneous symmetry breaking which explains why its mass would be heavy, see seesaw mechanism. SO The next simple Lie group which contains the standard model is S O 10 s u 5 s u 3 times s u 2 times u 1 Display style so ten subset su 5 subset su 3 times su 2 times u 1 here, the unification of matter is even more complete, since the irreducible spinor representation 16 contains both the 5 and 10 of SU and a right-handed neutrino, and thus the complete particle content of one generation of the extended standard model with neutrino masses. This is already the largest simple group which achieves the unification of matter in a scheme involving only the already known matter particles apart from the Higgs sector. Since different standard model fermions are grouped together in larger representations, guts specifically predict relations among the fermion masses, such as between the electron and the down quark, the muon and the strange quark, and the tau lepton and the bottom quark for SU and SO Some of these mass relations hold approximately, but most don't see Georgie giles Kogue mass relation. The boson matrix for SO is found by taking the 15 times 15 matrix from the 10 plus 5 representation of SU and adding an extra row and column for the right-handed neutrino. The bosons are found by adding a partner to each of the 20 charged bosons, two right-handed W bosons, six massive charged gluons and 12 X, Y type bosons and adding an extra heavy neutral Z boson to make five neutral bosons in total. The boson matrix will have a boson or its new partner in each row and column. These pairs combine to create the familiar 16 D Dirac spinor matrices of SO. <laughs> e6 
In some forms of string theory, including E8 times E8 heterotic string theory, the resultant four-dimensional theory after spontaneous compactification on a six-dimensional Calabi-Yau manifold resembles a gut based on the group E6. Notably E6 is the only exceptional simple Lie group to have any complex representations, a requirement for a theory to contain chiral fermions namely all weakly interacting fermions. Hence the other four G2, F4, E7, and E8 can't be the gauge group of a gut. <laughs> <laughs> Extended grand unified theories Non-chiral extensions of the standard model with vector-like split multiplet particle spectra which naturally appear in the higher SU N guts considerably modify the desert physics and lead to the realistic string scale grand unification for conventional three-quark lepton families even without using supersymmetry see below. On the other hand, due to a new missing VEV mechanism emerging in the supersymmetric SU gut the simultaneous solution to the gauge hierarchy doublet -triplet -splitting problem and problem of unification of flavor can be found, guts with four families, generations, SU assuming four generations of fermions instead of three makes a total of 64 types of particles. These can be put into 64 equals 8 plus 56 representations of SU this can be divided into SU five times SU three F times U one, which is the SU five theory, together with some heavy bosons which act on the generation number. Guts with four families, generations O sixteen, again assuming four generations of fermions, the one hundred and twenty-eight particles and antiparticles can be put into a single spinor representation of O sixteen. Topic. Symplectic groups and quaternion representations Symplectic gauge groups could also be considered. For example, sp which is called sp in the article symplectic group has a representation in terms of 4 times 4 quaternion unitary matrices which has a 16-dimensional real representation and so might be considered as a candidate for a gauge group. SP has 32 charge bosons and 4 neutral bosons. Its subgroups include SU so can at least contain the gluons and photon of SU times U Although it's probably not possible to have weak bosons acting on chiral fermions in this representation. A quaternion representation of the fermions might be E plus I E plus J V plus K V U R plus I U R plus J D R plus K D R U G plus i u g plus j d g plus k d g u b plus i u b plus j D B plus K D B L Display style begin B matrix E plus I overline E plus J V plus K overline V U underscore R plus I overline U underscore R plus J D underscore R plus K overline D underscore R U underscore G plus I overline U underscore G plus J D underscore G plus K overline D underscore G U underscore B plus I overline U underscore B plus J D underscore B plus K overline D underscore B end B matrix matrix underscore L a further complication with quaternion representations of fermions is that there are two types of multiplication left multiplication and right multiplication which must be taken into account 
It turns out that including left and right-handed four times four quaternion matrices is equivalent to including a single right multiplication by a unit quaternion which adds an extra SU and so has an extra neutral boson and two more charged bosons. Thus the group of left and right-handed 4 times 4 quaternion matrices is sp 8 times su 2 which does include the standard model bosons s u 4 h l times h r equals s p 8 times s U two S U four times S U two S U three times S U two times U one Display style su four H underscore L times H underscore R equals SP eight times su two subset su four times su two subset su three times su two times U one. If psi display style psi is a quaternion valued spinor a mu A B Display style a underscore mu carrot ab is quaternion Hermitian four times four matrix coming from sp eight and b mu display style b underscore mu is a pure imaginary quaternion, both of which are four vector bosons. Then the interaction term is psi a gamma mu a mu a B Psi B plus Psi A B mu Display style overline psi carrot a gamma underscore mu left or underscore mu carrot ab psi carrot B plus psi carrot A B underscore mu right Topic octonian representations It can be noted that a generation of 16 fermions can be put into the form of an octonian with each element of the octonian being an 8 vector. If the three generations are then put in a 3 by 3 Hermitian matrix with certain additions for the diagonal elements then these matrices form an exceptional Grassmann Jordan algebra, which has the symmetry group of one of the exceptional Lie groups F4, E6, E7 or E8 depending on the details, psi equals A E mu E B tau mu tau C display style psi equals begin B matrix A and E and mu overline E and B and tau overline mu and overline tau and C end B matrix Psi A, Psi B, J three O display style Psi underscore A, Psi underscore B subset J underscore three O because they are fermions, the anti commutators of the Jordan algebra become commutators. It is known that E six has subgroup O ten and so is big enough to include the standard model. An E eight gauge group, for example, would have eight neutral bosons, one hundred and twenty charged bosons, and one hundred and twenty charged anti bosons. To account for the 248 fermions in the lowest multiplet of E8, these would either have to include antiparticles and so have baryogenesis, have new undiscovered particles, or have gravity-like spin connection bosons affecting elements of the particle's spin direction. Each of these possess theoretical problems. Topic: <laughs> Beyond Lie groups. Other structures have been suggested including Lie 3 algebras and Lie superalgebras. Neither of these fit with Yang Mills theory. In particular, Lie superalgebras would introduce bosons with the wrong statistics. Supersymmetry, however, does fit with Yang Mills. For example, N equals 4 super Yang Mills theory requires an SU N gauge group. Topic Unification of forces and the role of supersymmetry 
The unification of forces is possible due to the energy scale dependence of force coupling parameters in quantum field theory called renormalization group running, which allows parameters with vastly different values at usual energies to converge to a single value at a much higher energy scale. The renormalization group running of the three gauge couplings in the standard model has been found to nearly, but not quite, meet at the same point if the hypercharge is normalized so that it is consistent with SU or SO guts, which are precisely the gut groups which lead to a simple fermion unification. This is a significant result, as other Lie groups lead to different normalizations. However, if the supersymmetric extension MSSM is used instead of the standard model, the match becomes much more accurate. In this case, the coupling constants of the strong and electroweak interactions meet at the grand unification energy, also known as the gut scale. Lambda gut approximately equals 10 16 GeV display style lambda underscore text gut approximately 10 carat 16 text GeV it is commonly believed that this matching is unlikely to be a coincidence and is often quoted as one of the main motivations to further investigate supersymmetric theories despite the fact that no supersymmetric partner particles have been experimentally observed also, most model builders simply assume supersymmetry because it solves the hierarchy problem, i.e., it stabilizes the electroweak Higgs mass against radiative corrections. Topic: <laughs> Neutrino masses. Since Majorana masses of the right-handed neutrino are forbidden by SO symmetry, SO guts predict the Majorana masses of right-handed neutrinos to be close to the gut scale where the symmetry is spontaneously broken in those models. In supersymmetric guts, this scale tends to be larger than would be desirable to obtain realistic masses of the light, mostly left-handed neutrinos see neutrino oscillation via the seesaw mechanism. Topic. Proposed theories Several theories have been proposed, but none is currently universally accepted. An even more ambitious theory that includes all fundamental forces, including gravitation, is termed a theory of everything. Some common mainstream gut models are Not quite guts Note, these models refer to Lie algebras not to Lie groups. The Lie group could be SU 4 times SU 2 times SU 2 Z2, just to take a random example. The most promising candidate is SO 10. Minimal SO 10 does not contain any exotic fermions, i.e., additional fermions besides the standard model fermions and the right-handed neutrino, and it unifies each generation into a single irreducible representation. A number of other gut models are based upon subgroups of SO 10. They are the minimal left-right model, SU five, flipped SU five, and the patty salam model. The gut group E6 contains SO ten, but models based upon it are significantly more complicated. The primary reason for studying E6 models comes from E8 times E8 heterotic string theory. Gut models generically predict the existence of topological defects such as monopoles, cosmic strings, domain walls, and others. But none have been observed. Their absence is known as the monopole problem in cosmology. Many gut models also predict proton decay, although not the patty salam model. Proton decay has never been observed by experiments. The minimal experimental limit on the proton's lifetime pretty much rules out minimal SU and heavily constrains the other models. The lack of detected supersymmetry to date also constrains many models. Proton decay these graphics refer to the X bosons and Higgs bosons. Some gut theories like SU and SO suffer from what is called the doublet-triplet problem. These theories predict that for each electroweak Higgs doublet, there is a corresponding colored Higgs triplet field with a very small mass many orders of magnitude smaller than the gut scale here. In theory, unifying quarks with leptons, the Higgs doublet would also be unified with a Higgs triplet. Such triplets have not been observed. They would also cause extremely rapid proton decay far below current experimental limits and prevent the gauge coupling strengths from running together in the renormalization group. Most gut models require a threefold replication of the matter fields. 
As such, they do not explain why there are three generations of fermions. Most GUP models also fail to explain the little hierarchy between the fermion masses for different generations. Topic: Ingredients. A GUP model consists of a gauge group which is a compact Lie group, a connection form for that Lie group, a Yang-Mills action for that connection given by an invariant symmetric bilinear form over its Lie algebra, which is specified by a coupling constant for each factor, a Higgs sector consisting of a number of scalar fields taking on values within real complex representations of the Lie group and chiral Weyl fermions taking on values within a complex rep of the Lie group. The Lie group contains the standard model group and the Higgs fields acquire VEVs leading to a spontaneous symmetry breaking to the standard model. The Weyl fermions represent matter. <laughs> <laughs> Current status There is currently no hard evidence that nature is described by a grand unified theory. The discovery of neutrino oscillations indicates that the standard model is incomplete and has led to renewed interest towards certain guts such as SO-10. One of the few possible experimental tests of certain gut is proton decay and also fermion masses. There are a few more special tests for supersymmetric gut. However, minimum proton lifetimes from research at or exceeding the 1034 to 1035 year range have ruled out simpler guts and most non-SUSY models. The maximum upper limit on proton lifetime if unstable, is calculated at 6 by 1039 years for SUSY models and 1.4 by 1036 years for minimal non-SUSY guts. The gauge coupling strengths of QCD, the weak interaction and hypercharge seem to meet at a common length scale called the gut scale and equal approximately to 1016 GeV slightly less than the Planck energy of 1019 GeV, which is somewhat suggestive. This interesting numerical observation is called the gauge coupling unification, and it works particularly well if one assumes the existence of superpartners of the standard model particles. Still it is possible to achieve the same by postulating, for instance, that ordinary non-supersymmetric so models break with an intermediate gauge scale, such as the one of Patti Salam group. See also Paradigm shift Classical unified field theories X and Y bosons B-L quantum number Notes <laughs> <laughs>